Uh, hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is twenty day twenty second of the August July. What? What am I talking about? August Leco Daily Challenge. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and let's get to the uh, start on today's farm. I don't know. It's a little bit late today. Um, but yeah, random point in non-overlapping rectangles. Uh, give me a list of non-overlapping rectangles, axis aligned. Uh, write a function pick that randomly and uniformly picks an integer point in the space covered by the rectangles. Okay. I think that's pretty okay. I think the hardest part about this problem is just some maths. I think the... Actually, I was um, thinking about some algorithms and then I was like, oh, non-overlapping. Because if it's overlapping, it's a little bit trickier. Um, I think what I would reduce this problem to is um, picking a random... So I could reduce it to two problems, right? Uh, or two parts of the same problem. With, with the first part being, okay, let's just choose a random rectangle. And then using that rectangle, choose a random point, right? However, that's not going to be uniform because um, because if you have a huge rectangle um, and, a, and a small one-by-one -one rectangle, say, um, then... You know, and if you choose to bounce them back and half-half, uh, then that's not going to be good enough, right? Uh, so for that purpose, and then you could maybe see where I'm going, I'm going with next, uh, we just have to do a weighted, uh, a weighted selection of the non-overlapping rectangles. And there's a couple of ways to do it. I'm going to do it in a naive way, and then I'll talk about how to optimize it, perhaps. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, and then beyond that is just some maths. So we're given the list of rectangles. So let's, um, so how would you do a weighted, uh, I mean, I think this is a standard problem. Uh, there's where you just choose um, a weighted, uh, 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 choose one element with a weighted thing, right? So let, let's kind of get to it. Uh, so by that, we'll, we'll look at the areas. So, hmm. Okay. So like for rect in rex, uh, areas, you go to rec, hmm, what is the, uh, Maybe I would even say something like four x one y one x two y two. Which one is the okay? So this is the lower left. This is the upper right. Okay. So is you go two x two minus x one times uh, y two minus y one, right? And I just have to double check. Uh, can we be on the border and stuff like that? I guess it's inclusive. Okay, so it's inclusive, so okay. So that means this is actually this plus one, right? Um, and then now we can take that, and then that's the weight. So let, let's just also have a sum. And we'll um, just think about the right data structure, but I think it's okay. Um, Yeah, I don't think there's a wrong wrong answer, but uh, yeah. And then I just do, um, yeah, self dot rex dot uh, append. Um, just this whole thing, and also the area, right? And I think that's maybe roughly what you have to do. Um, that's pretty much it, maybe. Uh, and we could normalize this as well, if that's what we want. Hmm, do we want it to? Okay, let, yeah, let's renormalize this. Let's actually just do two pass then. Um, yeah. Hmm. And by, by, renorm, uh, by normalizing, I mean putting this... Um, between zero and one, right? Uh, and then we, we have a running rate so that we can do things to it. And then we can just do something, mm -hmm, and uh, again, x1, y1, x2, y2, uh, maybe keep to put the running rate in the front. All right, and that's pretty much um, all we have to do. Let's take a look at this, just to make sure uh, that we're on the right path. So when we debug later, we'll be okay. I uh, wish there had more uh, solutions, but oh yeah, I didn't I have to at least put past here on the pick. 
so that it, it compiles. Uh, okay, so this looks okay. Uh, this also looks okay. <coughs> so this is supposed to be a running rate. So then from now, uh, and you can actually do do this with a binary search. Uh, and you know, I will let you up solve this at some point with it. Um, but I am going to do just a linear search because I'm a little bit lazy. But wait, do I? Um, mm, let me double check the. Let me double check the constraints. I don't do it, you know. Uh, that poorly, but yeah, there's only a hundred rectangles, and if it's only ten thousand, then it, that is like about a million queries. So that's about that should be okay. Um, yeah. So then that now we have to pick the rectangle first. So we have to do a random. I actually forgot how to do random in Python. I think it's just math that random in Python. Right? So I'm just googling that up real quick. Uh, it doesn't come up that much, uh, or at least I'm just not used to it. Um, so we want to get a random, hmm. Oh, literally just random goes from zero to one. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, like this. Mm -mm. Let me just double check real quick. Uh, module is not global, so it's random dot random. Okay. <laughs> Uh, hopefully, um, yeah, and if you're on an interview, don't worry, just talk with food, because sometimes these system libraries is not, uh, you know, uh, okay, so that looks okay, from 0 to 1, uh, so, okay, let's just see, this is all, so, for, for, wait, x1, y1, x2, y2, uh, hmm, maybe I shouldn't have done running rate then, actually, um, in self dot rex uh, because then the next part may be a little bit easier. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Okay. I, I I always forget which way I prefer. Oh yeah, because running rate is easier. Um. Actually, yeah, let's do it this way. Uh, be, because you can binary search off it. Is why I usually do it this way. But um. But yeah. Yep. Then now uh, we we choose this rectangle. And we just choose a random point from it, and then we could use random dot. I think went int. I mean, I have a page. I have the same page open. Uh, okay, went in from A to B. So uh, is that inclusive? Yes. So okay, went in from x1, x2. So x is equal to this. Uh, y is equal to random dot went int. Uh, y1, y2. Uh, and then we can return x, y. But what is the format? Um, Okay, just an array of x, y, uh, and that should be good. And the last, last one, the rate, the running rate should be um, always one, right? So this will always return true. Uh, so yeah, let's put, uh, run it real quick just to kind of get a little bit sanity. Uh, I mean, you know, you're not gonna get the same answer, but the distribution should be okay. Um, yeah, wow, this happened three times in a row. I guess maybe that just happens. Let's run it again real quick. Uh, the thing with randomness is always hard to tell if it's uh, right. So let's just submit it. Um, but I mean, it looks at least roughly right, which is good enough for me to try. And let's give it a go. Yay. Uh, yeah. And if you want to... Um, if you want to prove to yourself why this works, this is a, a prob it ends up being a probability problem for obvious reasons. Uh, and the rate... The rate allow you to calculate. For example, um, you know we just get the so the the denominator is the total area of all the rectangles, right? And then the numerator is going to be um, just the area of a rectangle. So th they all going to be sum up to one, obviously. But also it means that you know with if you have a twenty by twenty um, rectangle, or I guess a square, twenty by twenty square, and a one by one square, well you can expect the 20 by 20 square to show up 400 times more than the one square. And this is what uh, the math shows. Um, yeah, feel free to prove it to yourself at home. Uh, and again, this is linear time um, uh, in terms of the number of rectangles for each pick, uh, for each query. Um, so, and you can do this with binary search, as I mentioned, because this function, you can make it a binary search. Um, so if you want to practice that, definitely upsell it that way. Um, but yeah. That's all I have for this problem. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and join me tomorrow. And yeah.
拜拜。